Welcome back for another book talk video. Let's have some fun today talking about the suspense CIA international thriller. Well, that's not really how you phrase that. The suspense novel with international CIA super agent Mitch Rapp. There we go. American Assassin. This is book one in the Mitch Rapp series, which appears to have been written by a time-traveling author, because book one was written a long time after book three. What is going on with this Mitch Rapp suspense series? Well, let me break it down for you. Apparently, they allow authors to write books in a series out of order. Yep. Folks, you heard it here first. All right, so American Assassin, just gonna get it out of the way. When I originally read it, I gave it three out of four stars. I then reflected on it and bumped it up to four stars because the book I feel really accomplishes what it's set out to accomplish. It was written in 2010. It provides the origin story for Mitch Rapp, the main character of this CIA International Intrigue series. Then, in 2012, we get book two, Kill Shot. But book three, Transfer of Power, is actually from 1999. Book four, The Third Option, is from 2000. Book five, Separation of Powers, from 2001. Book six, Executive Powers, from 2003. And on and on and on. Believe it or not, there are 19 books in this series. So, if you enjoy a CIA international suspense thriller, then I think this could be the series for you. And it could keep you busy reading books for a long time long time. Unfortunately, the author Vince Flynn passed away. The last book by Vince Flynn was published in 2015. That was The Survivor. And then in 2016, the series was handed off to another author, Kyle Mills. So books 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 are by a different author. And I've not read them, but people seem to still love it. It's still getting just as good of reviews as it was getting under Vince Flynn. You might know American Assassin from the movie instead of from the book. It was released in 2017 as a film starring Dylan O'Brien, an actor you might know from the Maze Runner movies or from the TV show Teen Wolf. The film also stars Michael Keaton, who you may know as perhaps the best Batman ever, depending on your view of the Batman films. Or you might know him as the guy who was the father of Spider-Man's girlfriend in Spider-Man Homecoming since he played that character. Michael Keaton is just such a great actor. He's been in so many great movies. And I feel like like he and Dylan O'Brien play off of each other really well in this film. It's also got Sanaa Lathan, who I fear I'm mispronouncing her name, but she's great in the film as well. She is the one who has recruited the main character, Mitch Rapp, played by Dylan O'Brien, and is trying to get him his training. The thing is, he's not actually a military person. Normally, these CIA super agents end up where they are because they served in the military. They've got military clearance. They've got all the proper training this guy went out and got the training himself the mixed martial arts training and that sort of thing and then it varies from the book to the movie in the movie he does more weapons training on his own in the book they have to train him more in the weapons but it's an amazing story he's gone off and gotten this training because of something that's happened in his past and if you read the book it takes a while for them to reveal his motivation which is extreme but if you watch the film or even see the preview trailer for the film you know what that is from the beginning because they show what happens in his personal life that causes him to get a very strong Count of Monte Cristo or V for Vendetta like anger and build up and resentment to emotionally want to go after the terrorists and stop these international people of course if you're not into these kind of books then it might not be the best book for you but i feel like this is the kind of book that if you were traveling going through an airport you would see it in one of those shops and you would think eh, you might want to check it out could be interesting you pick it up you read it on your trip you have a good time with it you know kind of a popcorn entertainment book just like it would be a action exciting film for you to watch nothing too deep though you're not going to be getting fight club level philosophical exchanges in this necessarily but you might just be rooting for this guy and his team to take down those terrorists and to make a difference in the world i hope you'll check out the book and enjoy it every day is a great day for a book talk peace